All right, and hey there, Prize Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of the XD Gale of Darkness Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, uh, we went and continued onwards with battling out with some more of those imposter justies and a little bit more of the cipher battles that are going to be happening. Now, off recording, I did go and pick up with the other remaining uh, different battle CDs that are going to be happening around out here. Now, there is only one more of the Hexagon Bros that we do have to go and face off with, which I believe is located in the actual training school itself, because even though that you can go and battle out with all the other different justies that are outside here uh the last one is going to be located i think right inside the actual facility that we do have to go on battle just so that we can go and pick up with that one there um uh, but if you guys do want to know where the other remaining other different cds that are going to be uh we have to kind of wait uh, at least some point like sometime later throughout this game uh because there's going to be some uh like i want to say there's going to be like some other events that are going to be taking place and then once those events are done then we can come back here to fenac and there should be some leftover other battle cds that we can go pick up now real game tower does have uh some of those different cds that we can go and pick up as well too it's just that for the special event ones that happen we kind of have to wait a little bit later but if you guys go and see what our team is all about we do have now a full party without having any shadow pokemon involved and yes i am super happy about that but not only that but we do have triple h finally now as a breloom and we do now have a ralts finally as a curlia so can't wait until we get into that level 30 range for a gardevoir and that'll be awesome and yes i did name it after uh caitlin i think from unova as the elite four trainer and i believe she kind of works around with the psychic pokemon right if i can remember uh what her uh whole uh, typing of pokemon is all about but anyways uh let's go and look at our team here because there is gonna be some brand new moves and i kind of do need to go show that off to you guys so we do have marlin at level 31 everything is the same so nothing hasn't changed on that we do have chugga at level 23 now uh now i believe uh i think the last time i think we seen marlin at level 30 but now marlin is at level 31 so pretty nice there we also do have uh chugga at level 23 uh which i believe that was also a brand new exp uh level up right there shauna is still the same nothing hasn't really changed around with that uh we do now have caitlin our curly up uh does have some brand new moves we do have shockwave now finally uh, here which again shockwave is really nice and we don't have to even worry about having that move to ever miss we do have combine now we do have reflect and confusion there uh we do have triple h our breloom which i have to say uh, i have to say triple h kind of looks a little bit weird uh as this breloom in this game uh, but anyways it's all right we'll kind of keep with the design here but we do have a headbutt uh, refresh mega drain and also with brick break which i did go and add onto there which that's pretty nice and uh lastly we do have uh okami we do have heat wave which that is gonna be a really nice good move for that uh we do have uh confuse ray uh also with ember and we can't also forget about with dig so not bad of moves there unfortunately we don't really have a charcoal so we can't really go and kind of boost up that heat wave though that would have been really nice but uh it kind of well unfortunately we kind of have to deal on what's gonna happen now, if I ever have, like, any other type of, like, EV stat boosting type of stuff, which I do, I could probably just give that all over to Akami. I don't know what's going to happen about with that. But right now, let's just go head on over here to the uh, training school. I already went about it with the different Cypher guys here. So, as you guys can go and probably see, uh, some of those other different, uh, I guess, other imposter citizens that were around here are kind of disappeared at this point. So, we don't really have to go and bother about with them any more than it has to be. Yeah, there is a few people that are not really, like, as imposters. But, oh, what's going on here? Oh, welcome to the Prestige Perceip Center, or as everyone say, the pre-gym. Oh, you have a letter from the mayor for Justy, is that right? Oh, I hear a little voice whispering to me. And the wh and I guess the little whisper is, is that she was a cypher all this time. Oh, man, what the heck is going on out here? Now, if you guys do recall, this was the area that I got myself completely destroyed in, in Pokemon XG, in the uh, in that uh, randomizer there. And that completely sucked, man. <laughs> We were doing so well, we had such a good team going on, and then unfortunately, during this part of this time, this is where I got myself completely destroyed uh, by a Pidgeotto of all Pokemon, which that was crazy. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go and switch around with Chugga, because let's go and bring out our Breloom, because we do have now with some fighting type stuff, and we can make sure that that Lainu gets completely knocked out of existence, and we can see what our uh, Breloom is going to do. Wow, that Breloom is big. <laughs> Like, I have to say, like, that Breloom is much larger than what Vaporeon is looking like. But there we go. So, Curlia is down and out. But at least it's not our Curlia. Wow, look at that EXP. 219. Oh, well, this is going to be easy pickings right here. Again, another Pokemon that will be really nice. Oh, but here we go. Now, speaking about with Natsu, this is also a potential Pokemon that I was thinking about adding onto the team. As for, like, a switch up between with my Ralts, though. 
because I never went and ever got to use like a, a, a Nat 2 before like on this team so I think what I'm gonna do is knock it on the line noon and just go for a brick break here I guess I kind of missed out I guess with uh, with Breloom there unfortunately but it's all right I think by now if I go for this brick break here with uh, with Breloom now let's see if I can finally set it up there we go thank you we don't have to go and miss it now all right there we go and everything's good Shadow Blitz, I don't think that's going to do too much, I think, to both of these guys now. Ouch, that's actually super effective, and it still does that much damage. There you go, that's what you deserve. You got effects board, man. <laughs> so now we got that guy poisoned. I'm going to probably go for a quick attack. And I'm going to go and throw down maybe an Ultra Ball, because we do have a few of these. And I know it was a good idea that I went and bought a few of those as well, too. Now, I'm not too much really certain if Natu has anything, like, special item-wise. But we'll probably go and check and see what happens from here. Now, I don't know how Natsu's going to be for a hard Pokemon to grab, but it seems pretty easy. There we go. Nice. And we already caught ourselves with Natsu. Now, just let you guys know that I don't know if I may probably add this guy to, like, the layout or anything. But right now, we'll just kind of keep the Pokemon that we do have uh, for, for the time being. If I ever do decide to make a decision. But I think for right now, I think we're okay. Now, are you a, also a possible imposter guy? Okay. Yeah, so he doesn't even know what's going on. He's saying, what's happening? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on over here. But normally, Justy was supposed to be sitting there, right? And Justy's not there. Hmm. Something is going on. And I need to get down to the bottom of this. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and heal up here quickly. Because we have a lot of super posts. There we go. And I don't know if I should probably switch around with Chugga. But you know what, let's kind of just stay in with Chugga for the time being. So, uh, but by the way, you battle is different Pokemon are just tools for battling. And the way that you battle, you play things to stay with your Pokemon. Oh man! And now she's also an imposter as well too, what's going on? Okay, well let's go about with Fashion out here. Remember it in a gold bat, huh? Well, this should be too entirely bad, we'll probably have to switch out into Shauna. But at least, you know what, at least Chugga will get like the extra exp during our time for this so everything should be fine now i don't know if i ever kind of went and said anything uh during this episode for what the next uh video is going to be uh but just want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing some uh, dark cloud 2 and whatnot uh, so all you guys do go and check out on that we're going to finally be jumping into uh griffin's castle and finally heading throughout i want to say the second last of the dungeons that are going to be happening within this game which uh is going to be kind of sad to say but you know what i've been enjoying the love the the living heck out of that game of Dark Cloud 2. It's been absolutely a, a enjoying blast of the game. Coming back to that game and like never actually winning and ever completing throughout Dark Cloud 2 just makes me like love this game even more because I just love the storyline. It's just too bad that when I first played this game, I kind of stalked around the, uh, the Benicio area and then I never really touched foot with it again. Now, here is... Uh, Roselia, which we're not going to be grabbing out this Pokemon anytime soon because unfortunately Roserade is a much better Pokemon than Roselia and I don't know why <laughs> that you would ever want to go for Roselia if you want to go and capture it out with this grass Pokemon because like Breloom is just much better. <laughs> not until you get to see like a Roserade in Generation 4 but let's just go for a bite and a Thundershock on the Ghoul Bat there and this should hopefully be a dud deal. Oh what? Okay well I guess my bite is not going to do anything. And great, we got poison pointed. And oh lovely, we got ourselves with Shadow Wave too. That may probably hurt a little bit. But not as much, not anymore now. Yeah, Shadow and Marley can take care of that, no problem. Here we go, Thunder Shock. That should be able to blow away the gold bat here. What? Well, at least he's paralyzed still, so that's good. Yeah, we're still injured by that annoying dang poison. Okay, so let's just go for our bite. And I guess we could go for another Thunder Shock. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I think Rosalia is still gonna probably live through this bite, maybe. Yeah. So I'll have to go and switch into uh into a Kami. And we'll probably uh see if I can probably set up for like a heat wave or something. But I know that Marlo is gonna probably go first anyways. Ooh. Yeah, we may probably have to go back and get ourselves healed up beforehand. Because again, unfortunately, Fennac is the one area that, that you can't really go and heal up right now at the moment since there is no, like, Nurse Joy at the time being of this. Which, to be honest with you, I don't think there is even a Nurse Joy in this game 
because like uh, the nurse that's here in this game, I think uh, within the ore region is completely different compared to uh, compared to Nurse Joy, because she had because I think she has like pink hair, while the other nurse has uh, has some sort of like uh, blue hairish type of thing that's going on. But I'm gonna go and switch into a Kami now. But I kind of like our team so far, like we're all like in the level 20s at this point, so that's not too bad. So at least we're kind of like staying even around our time around out here. And there we go, and Roselia is already down and out, so we don't need to worry about with that. But I do need to find a Tangela, I do need to find a Seal, and also a Doug Trio for those three special Pokemon for those items though. And Roselia is not one of them. So there we go. So another Cypher member is down. We're doing pretty good. Yep. And off they go. Oh no. Now, I don't think I ever got to show you this, guys, before. But, uh, yeah, so if your Pokemon is ever poisoned, uh, it's gonna make, like, this uh, annoying type of red flash that goes on. And you know what? Just for just for my sake is that I'm just gonna, not gonna really go and uh, bother you guys about with that all that too much with the annoying red light that's going on. So I'm just going to go and make sure that uh, that gets disappeared off uh, permanently. <laughs> okay, but let's just go and head back over to a gate because I'm pretty sure that the PC center is actually pretty close from here. I'm not going to go and worry about heading back to Pyrite because it takes a little bit too long. Because unfortunately, the, the one Pokemon healing spot is like pretty far away. And then having to like walk all the way back uh, it takes a little while. But right here, there's no problem. Because the gate is just right here, this web. Okay. So heal up my Pokemon, please. Oh, and look at that in the background. Eh. You get to see a little bit of a Torchic poster that's in uh, that's in the background. But unfortunately, you never really ever get to get any of the Hoenn starters, though, which that sucks. I wish that would be something to do, like, within, like, the post game or something, you know? Like, after once you're done with, like, battling Mr. Varric and all that stuff, and, and then having to go through, like, the cutscene and then head into the actual postgame itself, you should be able to at least get yourself with, like, a Torchic or a Mudkip or even, like, a Trico or something, just so that you could be able to kind of transfer that over into, like, the GBA game. It kind of sucks that they never did that. When it added, like, a little bit more extra stuff there. But the only thing that, it, that, that there is for a post game is the Lucky Egg special item, which... It takes like a really long time to get, but I'm not even bothering about doing it. But now we got the Apostor Justy down below here, and this is the exact person that we do need to go and worry about. So after when you're done battling with all the different Justies and everything, this is the last one that you want to go and worry about here. Uh, now for Chugga, I'll probably maybe switch around. We'll bring out with Caitlyn instead. There we go. Get Caitlyn a little bit trained up. So, uh, you're good. So you figured out that I'm the real Justy, huh? You're wondering if I'm a fake too? Okay, yes. If you want me, me to be precise, then I'm the real Justy impersonator. What? Oh. Okay, well, I guess not. So he lied to me. What the heck? Where the heck is the yellow guy at? Because that's a problem in itself. It's just a regular Cypher member. Huh. Because, like, I'm pretty certain I looked everywhere around for this guy. And I thought this was gonna probably be the last one. Huh. Okay, well, we got ourselves with Cadabra and Sneasel. Shouldn't really be all that too bad. Um, got, uh, got Shockwave. I don't know how much the Shockwave is gonna do, but let's go for a Combine and then we'll probably set up for Shockwave or something. Oh, goodness, fake out. What are you gonna do? Oh no, please don't get me flinched. I don't want that to happen. Oh, of course, I flinched. Oh great, is this Kadabra is already setting up for double team already? Oh no. Okay, well you know what? We got Combine. We'll up our special attack and special defense. Okay, let's see if I can be able to do this now. So I'm gonna set up for Bite. Hopefully this works, and it still does. So at least he didn't go for like another double team. But anyways, Kadabra's done. Yep, hit yourself with the spoon on your head, man. All right, there you go, Miss Drevis. Oh, that's not too bad either. That should be easy pickings right here. What is with this guy, man? Do you just have like a just a double teaming team that's going on out here? That's just really annoying. But I mean, you know what? It never misses, so here, take this. Alright, there we go. That was a critical hit too. That was not too bad. Okay, there we go. Bite and shockwave. No! Oh, well, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Unless if this guy doesn't have like another monitor or something, I could still be able to just knock up the sneasel right away. Well, let me see here. 
And we have Meowth. Ah! Okay, now with Meowth here, I believe this is another Mon. And this was actually going to be one Pokemon that uh, that was in my concept uh, team that I wanted to have as well too. Because again, having a Meowth is not too bad of a Pokemon either, because it gets some pretty nice good diverse moves. But I think right now I'm not even going to even bother about it, and I don't think Meowth has anything special, move, well, special items as well. So, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to have to knock out, uh, have to knock out Meowth here. Okay, so we'll go for a bite on the Meowth there, and... I'm pretty certain I think I could maybe live out maybe one more hit, but we could probably switch around. Let me just go switch around here. We'll probably, I don't know, bring out Calm or something. I think we'll be okay. It's just a sneeze, all right? We shouldn't really worry about it. All right, here we go. So we'll bring out a Calm for the time being. We'll set for this bite, and it should be able to take up the Meowth right here. Sorry, buddy, but you're done. Okay, not bad there. And yep, I think all that we have left is just this Diesel by itself. Ouch! That Aerial Ace just does way too much. Man. Alright, you know what? Get Heat Waved. Is this bite's not gonna work? Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Yes, we got a flinch. Thank you. Okay. No, but you avoid the attack. Oh, you annoying guy. Come on. The one new move that I wanted to go and actually use out uh, up in here. But, I think with that being said... Huh. I think we're now done, right? And I think this guy may probably have, I think, the, the actual key or something for the elevator that we do need. So, we'll see what happens. So, sorry, pal. Breathe, beating me won't be a bunch, uh, well, set a bunch of, uh, downstairs free. You need the elevator key to get to the pre-J's basement. But, sorry to say that nobody trusts me with anything important like that. Okay, and I'm back, guys. So, sorry about that. Just got myself a little bit of a, uh, a package, uh, for myself, for my, uh, video game collection. If you guys kind of want to know exactly what type of game that I just went and picked up right now, I just went and just got myself with the Legends of Legacy for the Nintendo 3DS. It's brand new. It's in box, and I'm super happy about it. And, uh, if you guys are kind of curious if I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on that later on down the road, I will be doing that soon. And, uh, seems like we got ourselves when the BRB has appeared. Oh, that's going to be pretty nice. I may probably want to go ahead and do that at some point then now I'm a little bit confused exactly how we're gonna find this elevator key now huh because we can't go and head on down there just yet so there has to be literally one more other justy member somewhere around out here I don't know if we have to go and probably head inside of one of these houses or something out here but oh here we go there's something going on yeah but I found this place first you go and find your own place <laughs> What the heck? There's like two different Justies in here, and uh, now we don't even know which one is going to be the exact one. They could both be imposters, though, right? What the? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm literally saying is what the? <laughs> Shouldn't you guys be finding like your own place out here? Hey, there's the yellow six. What the heck? Well, it took him a while to finally show up around out here. All right, but this should probably maybe be the last thing that we're going to probably do it out here for this episode. So we got some little electric and a chin chow. So yeah, just like from what happened before, we already kind of know about what his Pokemon are all about at this point. So we got ourselves with Caitlyn and Marlin. I think I may probably need to go and switch around with Caitlyn though. So because like, you know what? We do have Dig, right? So we could go and probably set that up. So I'm going to go and probably knock it on the electric first because I know that Pokemon is going to probably be quite annoying. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go and switch over to Triple H instead. I think Triple H would be a little bit better because I may probably need to go and heal up on Okami first beforehand. And I don't really trust on switching it out and then get myself completely bodied right after. So, quick attack. Not to really worry about that move at all. It's all good. But yeah, I think that was like one of the current games I think I just bought right now for my video game collection uh, for the 3DS. And I think right now, I think that is literally about it uh, for this month of me of uh, video game collecting wise but uh everything else that i think that i'm gonna be uh trying to do is i think uh i'm gonna probably wait a little bit because i have to say like buy 3ds games nowadays like trying to buy them physically is pretty insane <laughs> i have to say so a water gun should probably be able to do some damage there mega Drain, i don't think that that's gonna really work so i'll have to go for a brick break so let's try that Oh, and I totally forgot about the whole Akami situation. Ah, uh, you know what? It's alright. 
If Shinjo can actually stay alive, then I wouldn't mind it because then I'll just throw in a super potion right away. But I don't think the game's gonna allow me to do that. <laughs> nope. Alright, well Shin Chao's already gone and I think that was a done deal. And I think that should be all the battle CDs, I think right now, that we're totally fine with. Nice, level 24 for uh, Triple H right there, so not bad. Yay! Yellow 6 is finally out of here, man. And we're all good. Okay, I thank you for that 800 cash because I will be putting that to good use at Real Game Tower. But you're tough enough that I'm uh, willing to go let you become my little brother. Think it over, okay? What? Little brother? Okay, I don't know what's going on with that guy. Huh? You're just a kid. You're uh, good at battling. I hate battling. I wish it. You leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I think I may probably have to go and battle you as well, too, man. But I think we'll just probably have to do that for another time. But anyways, you know what? I think it's going to be a great time for me to just go and end off with this episode for today. So uh, thank you guys so much for uh, going and watching this video for today. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. And hopefully we can go and find where this elevator key is going to be. And uh, we can finally go and rescue everybody that's going to be here at FedEx City for next time. And of course, peace.